Hi, this is Presh Talaker. In this video, I'm going to teach you a card trick that involves rolling three dice. Here's how the trick looks to the spectator. You start out with three dice and a standard deck of cards. You give the deck a shuffle, and then you explain the trick will depend on the roll of the dice. So you give the spectator the dice and you let them roll it. In this case, they rolled a 5, a 3, and a 2. The numbers 5, 3, and 2 add up to 10. And what you do is you count out the number of cards equal to the sum of the numbers on the dice. So we count out 10 cards. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle the cards again. We remove the middle number, which is 3, and we're going to count out 7 cards, which is the sum of the remaining dice. So we count out 7 cards, put the deck on top, and then we do this 3 times because the trick involves 3 dice. So we count out 7 cards, put the deck on top, and then we count out 7 cards again, and then we put the deck on top. Now we've gone through a long process, but you're going to be able to predict the card. You're going to tell the spectator, I know this is the Ace of Spades. So it's a pretty cool trick because there's no way you could have known what they were going to roll. There's no way you could have known what the middle number was, but still you were able to figure out what the card was on top of the pile. So let's try the trick again. We have a roll of 4, 3, and 2. So this adds up to 9. So we're going to count out 9 cards. Then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the middle number of 3 and the remaining dice add up to 6. So we count out 6 cards, put the remaining cards on top of it. We count out six cards again, put the remaining cards on top, and we do this three times. So the third time we count out six cards, and we put the remaining cards on top. And once again, we're going to be able to predict that the top card is the Ace of Spades. So I'll do the trick one more time, just to explain one more variation. We give it a rifle shuffle, and then we roll out, we roll the dice. This time we have 6, 6, and 5, which adds up to 17. So we're going to need to card count out 17 cards, which is the sum of the numbers on the dice. Now we have 6, 6, and 5. The middle number will be 6, so we remove one of the 6s. So we're left with 11. And then we do the same thing. We count out 11 cards, we put the rest of the cards on top, and we do this three times. And lo and behold, when you do this on the third time, you're going to put the cards down and you're gonna say, hey, I know what this card on top is, it's the Ace of Spades. So here's the final detail you need to know to do the trick. The only thing you really need to know is you memorize the value of the card on top of the deck. Then you proceed with the directions that I've given you in the video. And when you're done with that process, you will always end up that the card on top will be the same as the first card in the deck that you've memorized. So this trick is mathematically complicated to explain, but trust me, it works every time. And it's pretty impressive because there's no way you could have predicted what the numbers on the dice were. I hope you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon, catch me on my blog Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, and you can get my books listed on my website 